I mean, I feel like art is just getting closer to being like a drug experience, you know? It's like everyone experiences it subjectively. Nobody has the same experience, even though it has like very similar essential qualities and like a similar arc and a similar like sub narrative. Nobody has the same point of view and nobody like, you know, can talk about having the same point of view of looking at a single piece anymore because it's all so user centered. It's just like, yeah. right, because it's, it's current. It's, it's what we see every day. Like anybody, anyone on the street has, you know, their like cell phone, they go out, they see like the screens in front of the subway station. Um, I don't know, they get an hourly weather report. If they check the internet, it's just like how you get your information. It's how you get your media. And so it's like how you're used to seeing the world. And, you know, I feel like to talk about our experience in any other way is just not relevant. It's, it's so abstracted and like unrelatable. You kind of, you kind of have to, if you want to engage the everyday. And, you know, like your your love life is is the closest thing there is to the heart. And then it's like, you know, 140 characters like thing on your on your screen. And you like have to put all of that into those characters. And that's like your only chance. And if it, you know, goes south, then that's it. You don't talk to that person for like days, a week. I don't know, whatever happens. But it's just... Uh, it's pretty emotional. <laughs> it's pretty high stakes. Yeah. Have you avoid? <laughs> there's just like there's this huge culture of like rainbows and space and and cats and I discovered like an amazing group of people that are really interested in what they're doing and not each other. Like there's this great conversation that I can have with the people who follow me and the people that I follow that is not like, I don't know who they are. I kind of know who some of them are. I know they're like in different countries. I know that some of them are like 16, you know, and some of them are, are older than me or whatever. But it, we're like very, that aside, it's, it's really awesome that you can just talk to people just about aesthetics. And, and it's funny because it's about memes, like it's always about rainbows and space and cats, but like it totally transcends that. These people understand more about, I think, art history and, and you know, the formalism than a lot of people I talk to. And it's, or every time I blink my eyes, I, I can be a new person every second. You know, what is, at that point, like how do you break down duration? How do you break down action? How do you like, break down the passing of time and what the self means. I think you could just like disappear and reappear at every instance and, and what is So while you can trace a user's passage through the internet and what they're doing and say that that person has a certain history and interpolate facts from it, I mean, the relevance of that is, is just as absurd as me saying like, oh, you know, Jonathan, you're such and such type of person. like. I bet you would want to do this and you would be like, no, you know, I'm entirely not interested in that. How could you think that? It's And we filled in everything, like everything you could possibly want. I feel like almost everything is out there, right? There's just like tons of information, but we also can't read that information. So we like start interpolating information. So it's, you know, it layers and it levels up really quickly. Um, How are we gonna watch it? All right, so we're, we're gonna put it in nanobots. We're gonna crush it. I had a dream about this, and um, and then you you like decimate it into the atmosphere, and people like walk down the street and they breathe it, and then all of a sudden they're sitting here in this room and um, and they're listening to this, or maybe they're even having maybe they're sitting right here and they're answering your questions. Um, all right, so we're used to single narrative, we're used to single point perspective, we are used to frame by frame by frame. Um, and that, that shatters that. And I mean, there's, uh, there's video games that kind of shatter that as well. Um, but there's something about this that makes me feel like you could have a truly cinematic experience where you're not really looking for that kind of interaction and like collaboration that you're looking for in a video game. It can somehow... Oh yeah, I keep having dreams that um, computers start growing out of my arms and... 
like out of my body. And, um, and for some reason, I have a keyboard terminal like showing up all, all over my skin. Um, and it's really, it's really weird because I'm like, if something is gonna grow in my body, why do I have to push it? Like, why doesn't it get information in different ways? And it's actually, it's like you know. Why, why do I think that the technology needs to be accessed like that? Like eventually it's gonna be like this mushroom. It's just gonna like show up and it's going to be part of my substrate and like only if I get really, really sweaty can I like make it get bigger. And that's it, you know? <laughs> it's just there, we just live together now. <laughs> wow. Also part of that, like it's all becoming so much more subjective and like dispersed and emergent and and that's like incredible if you think about like futurism and all these things that preceded you know the love of the machine of what we're doing right now that was all about like me you know the man the the single individual in the middle of the frame like doing this thing and and now we're just like out there we're we're out there and we're all mixed and i mean i think that's a great achievement and I mean, just hopefully in the future we remember that, you know, because so far all this like awesome technology is being used for advertising, like AR advertising, you know? So like, hopefully we keep that spirit and we keep that like equality going. Uh, it's that idea of like this, the single unity of the earth as an entire organism, like that, that is in control. We are, we're all in control, we're all not in control. Like con control is not the question. Um, you know, it's the experience. It's not like where are we going and why are we doing it? It's like, are we having fun? We have to look this up. But it's, it's funny because it's like the idea of like the first thing that people wonder is like, why are we doing this? You know, what does it mean? And then, but really the last thing is like, okay, well, where's the best hamburger? You know, it's, it's, it just becomes about experience, ultimately. I mean, I think about that a lot, actually, because there's like all those dialects that used to exist everywhere in the world, and now there's so much less of them. And it's kind of like, because we all speak of one language, you know, and, and we don't have as much isolation. We don't have as much opportunity for culture to develop, you know, by itself. Um, but on the other hand, we have all this opportunity to like know that even the strangest thing that you can imagine is like okay and real and a culture unto itself as well. It's almost like, again, we were talking about that like user-centered idea of culture and media and all that, it, like even applies to that, I feel. You know, again, we're still on Earth. It's, it's, there's still systems, they influence each other. It's a cloud is, is part of like the strata of like skin that's made out of atmosphere that's surrounding the globe and something that happens on one side of it influences the other side it's a single organism and that influences like the substratas and that influences the earth on the surface and that influences the core you know and like so to think of of something where we're floating you know i i can't really buy into that but um it's a good metaphor because it certainly feels very much like we are alone together, you know. So. In terms of like, there was the Big Bang and, you know, it created elements and those elements congealed and turned into stars and solar systems and from that emerged, you know, molecules and organic life and then from that emerges like technology. If you take that view of things, it is one organism. No, like, I don't know. I don't know what this is. Like, I think I'm seeing photons, but that's just because it's a very good theory. Maybe I'm projecting like the connect, I'm projecting like my ideas out into the world and it's bouncing back at me. Like we, we don't really know. Like we still haven't figured out the cones and rods in our eyes and like do we really have to? So, I mean, I think this city is horrible. I think the grid system is detestable. This like whole business of developing upwards and having these like envelopes zoning envelopes that dictate your behavior in terms of like the kinds of structures you create and you know all because we have this like amazing island that's made out of this really hard rock that can handle that kind of building it's it's like 
crazy and and it's so i don't know it feels like just as on like under thought as a step sequencer you know like i always imagine manhattan it's like this giant step sequencer and you're like like a you know eight bit piece of music that's like do, 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 right and it's like there's no variety in the middle it's so it's so like dictates your paths and and the